at Coin and Agenda Summit at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, today I spoke on a panel about blockchain incubators and blockchain accelerators. I held a pretty contrarian view. What does it even mean if incubators were born to bring together the team of a startup, if today decentralized and distributed teams collaborate efficiently to deliver on their idea, implementing software developed in the cloud, and the team members live in their physical bodies anywhere they want on the planet. Accelerators are supposed to match the teams with experts in various facets of a given business. What does that even mean if the half-life of knowledge in blockchain is measured in weeks and whether self-labeled experts need to le le relearn if they are honest the best practices of the field very, very, very frequently, multiple times a year. Accelerators really should um, be open spaces of uh, excited collaborative learning with very little difference between experts and newbies, enthusiasts, and, and those that deliver um, high value services. So um, what does that mean from the point of view of policies and, and jurisdictions? Just like the internet made the data liquid that could move around easily, today we are making jurisdiction liquid. And policymakers have to be very careful because the likelihood that they will damage fragile initial uh, ecosystems that are just now being born rather than uh, nudging them along uh, and supporting them as they believe they should is very, very high. Jurisdictional arbitrage today is, is true and jurisdictions themselves are going to become liquid uh, in the hyper acceleration of open source business model discovery that token sales, white papers and blockchain today really are.